Hey guys, so this is going to be an air review on The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest maybe waiting to watch this until you have because I'm going to be talking spoilers and they're going to start now. The spoilers really are because like literally right off the bat, I'm going to talk about like the biggest spoiler in this movie. So seriously, if you have not seen it, leave now. Okay, so the instant, the instant Gwen started her graduation speech and, you know, just listening to it, I knew we were going to get the death of Gwen Stacy in this one, which was crazy because I really thought we weren't going to get the death of Gwen Stacy until at least Spider-Man 3, but no, we got in this one and I'm really, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it went off really well with, you know, the, uh, adaption to movie and I think I think it went really well personally because I was I was kind of a little scared when you know going into the new set of Spider-Man movies since we were getting Gwen Stacy instead of Mary Jane like we did in the old ones I was scared how they were going to do the death of Gwen Stacy were they going to do it with just Goblin killing her or if they were going to actually do Spider-Man and was she alive before his web caught her or was it the actual fall that killed her and me personally I think it was the web caught so I, I blame Spider-Man personally that's me I'd love to hear what you guys think if you guys have what's your opinion on it if you know the movie or the comics whichever you think who do you think was the actual cause of her death um, besides that, Electro was amazing. Um, I think Jerry Fox did a great job. He's he's just a great actor anyways. I think he did amazing as Electro. Um, the music. The music during his scenes. I think the first time we actually saw Electro, um, there was just like, how do I describe it? There was like this whispering that you heard and it like slowly built and was like, it's his fault. He did it. And it's just, oh, it's amazing. The music for this movie was just amazing. I think during the first scene we got Electro in, that was probably the best music. I loved it. I'm, I was a little shocked not to have seen Mary Jane in this because, I mean, we, I don't, I can't remember if we have Gwen Stacy in the, uh, the original Spider-Man that I grew up on with, uh, Tobey Maguire, I want to say his name was. Um, we only got Mary Jane then, but if, if we're going by, like, the comics, Mary Jane and, uh, Gwen had a frenemy, like, relationship, and so when I first found out we were getting Gwen Stacy in this, I was like, okay, so we're gonna get Mary Jane, because obviously I knew we were gonna get the death of, Mar of the death of Gwen Stacy, and then, you know, he would eventually wind up with Mary Jane, even though, you know, Gwen was this one true love and stuff. So I figured, well actually at the end of this one, because I didn't know we were doing the uh, death of Gwen Stacy in this one, I thought we were, I just knew we were, it was going to happen in three, not two, I didn't think it was going to happen so soon, but it did either way. I figured we'd have like some type of like frenemy build up in two, so in three we'd have the death of Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane could come and you know, obviously, but no, we didn't get any Mary Jane and I was really surprised at this. However, I read, um, because I saw it yesterday and I'm, I'm doing the review now, um, that they actually did fil film scenes with Mary Jane or um, Shailene Woodley. That's who's uh, Mary Jane this time around. Or at least it was. I don't know, they may change Mary Jane's now since her scenes weren't in this. I think Shailene Woodley is a pretty good um, pick for Mary Jane personally because, you know, Mary Jane's very girl next door and I think Shailene Woodley is like a really good casting for Mary Jane. But yeah, so I guess in 3 we'll get Mary Jane, and I don't know. I don't know what else is in 3, maybe, maybe Doc Ock, or Sandman, or Venom. I know they're doing talks with doing a Venom one now, so that should be good. Um, well, at the end of this one, I guess, oh, was this their post-credit? I guess this was their post-credit with Spider-Man getting back up, and we got um, Gustav Fears going to talk to Osborne about doing a group. We got like Sister Six coming out, uh, Rhino debuted, so I mean, 
if we're doing the Sinister Six, we have an endless array of people, you know? Mysterio, Shocker, Vulture. There's tons of people. You know, we could also do, you know, Sinister 12. But I'm sure we're just doing Sinister Six at this exact moment. But there's so many possibilities. Um, I, I loved Spider-Man 2, and I can't wait for the third one. I don't know when the third one's coming out. Does anyone know when the third one's coming out? Tell me if you know when, because I am really excited to see how this continues to go. Tell me what you guys thought of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I thought it was amazing, and I'm really pleased with how they handled the death of Gwen Stacy. I really, really am, because it still has that question of, did she die in the fall? Was the, the, uh, the web what caused her to snap her neck and die? My personal opinion. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys thought of that. And what do you think is going to happen in the next movies? And who you think the next villain or villains are going to be? And thanks for watching.